Okay, we have the moon in reverse, Pisces energy there. Six of swords. Hmm. Five of pentacles and the three of wands. Wow. Okay, so for some divine feminines, it feels like something has been found out with the moon reverse, or the divine feminine is saying, I don't I don't care to stick around anymore in a situation in which there are illusions and things aren't clear. Whether it's something I found out that I don't like, I've just, I'm deciding right now to pull my energy back or to move on, or I'm just not getting the answers I need. I'm not getting clarity and I'm deciding to move forward. I deserve to be in a connection or a situation where someone can actually respond to a message or reach out to me or clarify some things. I'm sick of the illusion because we've got the five of coins and the three of wands. It does feel like this divine feminine is choosing to put themselves out in the cold from this connection, at least for now, to focus on manifesting something else. Okay, let's see. What else, please? Yep, the Hermit reverse, we've got Virgo there. I'm feeling for a few feminines, it's it's also them saying the approach I've been taking hasn't worked. Um, it might even be that they've been trying to ask the Divine Masculine certain things and they've been just met with um, silence or lies via omission, you know, being told half-truths or just whatever it is, some kind of, um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Not deception, that's too extreme. You know, if someone doesn't want to answer something and they're being a bit cagey and they're kind of beating around the bush, that sort of a thing. So it's like, right, I'm going to, I'm going to take a new approach. I'm going to find this out without you because you're not being helpful. I'm going to, you know, maybe I'll research, maybe I'll ask someone else. We've got the 10 of wands reversed. We have the Hanged Man in reverse, more Pisces energy there. We have the Page of Cups, yeah, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so it feels to me that if this is resonating with you and you are the Divine Feminine, it's like you're saying, look, I don't want to move on or do this a different way, but I've got no choice because I'm sick of this um, threshold that I feel like I'm at or that we're at and we're not cross we're not crossing it you know we're just stuck here and I'm not doing this anymore there's something I need to know that I'm not getting for you the hanged man is reversed there's there's some kind of insight or wisdom here that you're not giving to me so I'm gonna pull back from this and find out myself so we've got the page of cups which can be a message and I'm noticing in this depiction we've got these three fluffy baby owls so it's not just one page so I wonder if the divine feminine is getting together with a trusted group of people maybe other divine feminines or the collective on readings like this and it's like right I'm gonna have to find out this information via tarot readings or via mutual friends or discuss this with people I trust because you're you know divine masculine you're not really giving much you're not doing much and, and it's confusing and it's, it's kind of disrespectful actually you know um and we've got this queen of swords so it feels like this is a head over heart decision I do think the Divine Feminine will find a feeling or a sense of community with whoever these other people are, whether it's friends, online, in person, as I said, maybe in the comments section of these sorts of readings, whatever it is, it's like I'm going to, to actively put myself around like-minded people because masculine, what are you doing? You know, you're not, you're not giving me the information I need and I've been trying. I haven't just tried once or twice, I have been trying. Um, okay, so let's see what else. And it could also be some divine feminines are saying the masculine is being guided to do some kind of healing here or to see something about themselves with the moon and the hermit, but both are reversed. So there's resistance to going within, there's resistance to seeing some truth about themselves. And it's like the feminine saying, well, this can't move forward until you do that. So I need to look after myself and be around people who are on my wavelength and who are doing their healing, who are forward thinking, who are manifesting goals for themselves because there's no point both of us just being stuck here. You know, when you're ready to make some changes, great. Yeah, three of pentacles. I will be there and we can do this as a team. Okay, what else please for the Divine Feminine at this time? We have, ooh, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. So yes, some feminines are frustrated and they might feel they've been disrespected, but they're biting their tongue. I don't know if this is because they're saying, I understand where you're coming from and I know you weren't trying to be rude, 
or hurt my feelings but you did but I know you didn't mean it so I'm not going to have a go at you for this you're just working through some things or they might be feeling like now's not the right time or there's no point saying anything anyway because they're not getting a response so it would be like shouting into the ether you know but there is some um there is something unexpressed here and a feeling of I need to get this off my chest and I'm unhappy about something and look how we have these two crows one is you know has its beak closed and is sort of just side eyeing us the other is shouting almost at us and i feel it's almost like what the divine feminine would like to do is be this crow behind and speak their mind but what they're actually doing as far as the divine masculine is, is concerned here is being quiet observing keeping things in maybe feeling like it's not the right time um to speak their mind I also feel for some feminines, they might not trust the masculine right now. Uh, maybe they're feeling like they just went through a cycle that left them feeling hurt in some way. Or like I said, they found out something that they didn't like. And it's like, right, I'm keeping you at a distance. Don't approach me because I'm still wounded and I still don't trust you. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. And we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. Yes, there's a feeling of the feminine pulling back and being around people that they feel supported by and people who see them and people who it's not, it's not difficult to be around these people. It's not difficult to speak with these people. Um, some sort of a self-protection here. There's something the feminine could offer to the masculine at this time, but they're actively choosing not to. So it could be a gift it could be advice it could be a message they could send that they're choosing not to send it could be i mean depending on your specific situation let's say you work with this person and you're the feminine it could be that you you could offer something practical that would help them with something they're doing at work but you're like you know what i'm staying out of it um yeah it's, it's a conscious choice here on the part of the feminine it's like self-protecting pulling away for now, being around people who feel safe and who understand and saying, I have this, I have two things. I have thoughts and words that I, at some point masculine would like to express to you. And I'm kind of cross actually. Um, and I have something that I could give to you that would help you in a practical sense, but I'm holding back because A, I'm not sure you deserve it right now. You've been disrespectful. <laughs> B, holding on to this and not offering it is a form of self-protection and see i'm just not talking to you right now so i'm not going to offer it to you um okay let me just get one for this moon card reversed oh the devil in reverse okay we have capricorn here um but that aside, yeah, I think some divine feminines found out something about the masculine and they're like, you know, this, I don't like this so much. It could have been one specific thing the masculine did. It could be a behavior, a trait, um, some kind of addiction. I don't know, something that maybe the feminine thought the masculine had dealt with, but it's like, oh, you're still doing that? No, I'm, I'm you know, let me know when, when you finish with that. It could be that there's something karmic, a karmic situation around the masculine or a karmic relationship the masculine is in and the feminine's like, nope, you know, I'll be over here when you're done with that. Um, and if it's none of those things, if it's not something the feminine found out about the masculine, it's saying, you know, I'm sick, I'm really getting sick and tired of this illusion, of this confusion. It's starting to feel toxic. So that's, that's enough for me, I'm out. You know, until you're ready to talk, I'm pulling away, I'm doing, I'm focusing on other things in my life, I'm manifesting, I'm moving forward, I'm not getting stuck in this. <clears throat> and I just heard again, I'm not getting stuck in this again. So I think the feminine is, is self-protecting because they don't want to repeat a cycle, especially maybe a lot of people thinking, you know, we're at the start of a whole new year. Which things do we want to take forward with us and which things do we just not want to bring into the new year with us? Okay, so let's have a look then at the Oracle deck for the Divine Feminine. Then we'll get a song or two, however many want to come out, um, from the Feminine to the Masculine. And then we'll do the same thing that we've just done for the Masculine. Okay, so what's the message, please? The Oracle message for the Divine Feminine here. Okay. 
I'm getting something about writing. Um, I don't know if there are divine feminines coming through here who write, who are thinking of writing and spirits like, yep, go for it. Um, okay, let's see. Manny, Manny, oh my God, I hate when I pronounce these things because I know I'm butchering it. Manny Pura, the um, solar plexus here. So it's the number 26, so 2, 6, 26, the number 8 could be relevant. Um, strengthen your inner fire and ignite the driving force into your future. Yeah, three of wands. You are a fierce person with endless potential. And this divine feminine knows it. That's why they're moving forward. Um, do you suffer from fear? Do you have indigestion? Spirit is asking you to face your fears and try new things, learn a new hobby and try exercising more. So maybe writing for someone is a new hobby, a new thing they're trying, but um, this spread here feels to me like a divine feminine that knows they are a fierce person and they have so much potential within themselves and there's so much potential in their present moment and future and they're stepping towards that. It's not to say that they're 100% done with this divine masculine, but they're done with some sort of a cycle or they're done with this for now. If they found something out that they're like, really? No, absolutely not. You know, <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting involved in that or I can't believe you've done that. Um, or just, we're not doing this. I'm not continuing this cycle. And if you're not gonna break it, I will break it by just not being involved. Um, for now and if you're not going to give me answers i will find another way to get a sense of inner peace or insight okay and also you know masculine if if you're not ready to go on this healing journey that you kind of are being guided to go on i can't force you but i'm also not going to slow down myself i'm not going to keep myself stuck okay <clears throat> So, a new hobby, or a hobby maybe um, for the feminines that they dropped and it's time to pick it up again. Okay, so let's get a soul. What would the soul be from the feminine to the masculine? I get nervous with this deck because, honestly, some of the lyrics, I'm like, oh, should I even read those out? Okay, what would the soul be from the feminine to the masculine, please? There we go. We have um, Kesha Cole, Heaven Sent. Um, now, oh, I've, I've already started weirdly. I read these out in such a weird way. Here we go. <laughs> now, you can't wait your whole life wondering when it's going to come or where it's been. You may have got your heart broken a few times in the past. Never last as strong as it used to. It don't feel as good as it... Hold on. It don't feel as good as it used to before and all the things you used to say things you used to do went right out the door right okay so you can see that the feminine is feeling a bit fed up with the masculine and maybe is, is tired of hearing things that don't come to fruition um and also saying to the masculine look you need to do some healing you need to be ready to move forward as well so i don't know if you know this song if you don't you might want to look it up have a look at all of the lyrics just listen to it perhaps um but yeah okay so i'll clear these away i'm gonna put these two back in the decks in case they want to repeat for the masculine um and then yeah we'll get into the masculine side okay so just to say when i paused the camera to clear away the other deck um i did see on the timer it said 15 15 so ones and fives so i do think you know new opportunities new beginnings changes for the feminine are um happening now okay so let's see how is the divine masculine doing this connection at this time spirit how are things looking from the masculine's perspective please <clears throat> We have the two of swords so yeah i feel like the divine feminine is right at least in part that the masculine right now is trying not to face some kind of an obvious situation that needs facing because it feels difficult you know the the um two options neither of them are easy okay so how are things looking from the divine masculine's side please This feels like a divine masculine who's tired and today is like, oh, I don't want to talk. You know, do, do I have to tell you my side? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, nice. 
How are things looking from the Divine Masculine side, please? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Oh, Six of Swords. Interesting. We just had this for the feminine, I think, in this position. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, tired. Okay. Not with this connection. I think with other things. Yeah, Four of Wands reversed. Page of Cups. Eight of Cups reversed. And we have the Chariot in the reverse. Cancer energy there. Page of Wands. Oh, look, and the Lovers poking out at the bottom. Gemini and also, you know, the Twin Flame card. So let's take these out. Okay, so hmm, this Divine Masculine, I will say, regardless of what it, how it seems, they are very aware of what the Feminine is doing. And they are aware that the Feminine is trying to move on right now in one sense or another. Six of um, Swords you know, swords are mental energy, so they could just perceive that the feminine is trying not to think about this so much and is directing mental energy to other things. They don't like this. This is a masculine who actually wants to stop the feminine moving forward right now. It's like, don't forget about me. Um, what's that song? It's by Lewis Capaldi. Um, the lyrics are something like, hold on, let me think of it. something about it wrecks me to find out you know how to forget me um oh i don't know essentially i think the message of it is i'd rather you remember me and hate me you know and the things that have happened versus you've become indifferent and forgotten about me and moved on and that is what i am feeling here from this masculine they're saying i understand why you want to perhaps direct your energy and attention towards other things why you might be fed up with me, why you might not be thinking about me so much anymore. But honestly, I kind of hate that. And, and you know, even if you think of me and you don't think the best things, at least you will, you, you know, you're going to be thinking of me. I'd rather that. Um, and the masculine is hoping that the feminine, even if they're moving on practically or doing other things, or, or it seems like they're not thinking about the masculine, this masculine is hoping that the feminine is actually still connected emotionally. So I will say there's a little bit of sabotaging behavior here. The masculine actually trying to sabotage this forward movement that the feminine is experiencing right now. So if you and your masculine, if you're the feminine, um, <clears throat> are connected in the 3D. Um, let's say you see each other because you go to where they work, they come to where you work, you work together, or you're in the same friend group, or they're a family friend, whatever it is. You could notice them doing practical things to try and create confusion in this powerful momentum that you're building and almost to throw you off course. So that is a bit selfish. But of course we know the reason is they don't want you to forget about them. Um, if you're not connected, no communication, not seeing each other, nothing, you could feel them pulling on your energy. You could be trying to move forward and you're doing well, but then emotionally you're feeling drawn back. Um, now, if you're the masculine, I think the feminine knows. They will pick up on this even if they're not already. They will feel you pulling on them and almost trying to get in the way and be like hi remember me you know the feminine is in this this boat moving forward and the masculine is popping up at different points in the lake like hi i'm still here you know <laughs> so i think the feminine will know if they don't feel it as i said already um okay <clears throat> so let's get back to the start so we've got the ace of cups so this is how the masculine is feeling about the feminine it's like yes renewal my cup is overflowing i feel so much love i feel so much hope and potential what's in the way then what is the thing that's making them feel exhausted this foundation that needs to go this is that two of swords energy we saw at the start um the masculine knows look if i want to to offer this cup to the feminine i've got to get out of whatever this foundation is first that's difficult so if I go left, I have to get out of this foundation, difficult. If I go right, I continue with this unhappy situation I'm in and I miss out on an opportunity with the feminine. I don't like either of those options. So I'll just sit here and do nothing. Meanwhile, the feminine is saying, well, I'm not sticking around for that anymore because that's all we've been doing. We have the page of wands and the lovers. So yes, the desire is communication here. The masculine really wanting communication with the feminine and also being like, look, I'm fully aware of this connection. For some of you, your masculine, again, if you're the feminine, will know, you know, about twin flames, the actual term, and will have looked into it. If you're the masculine watching, then of course, you know, you, you're watching this twin flame reading, what the um, term means. Um, 
But if, if they're not using the term, if the masculine isn't saying, you know, like twin flame or soulmate or something, um, the feelings are there. <clears throat> However, the lovers can also talk about making a big choice, a big um, decision. And I can see the masculine wants to make the decision for a new, a new journey, moving in a new direction with the feminine page of wands. Um, but the lovers is still upright, which to me says they haven't firmly decided on um the choice they're making and started taking action they may have decided internally but they haven't started putting a plan into action yet we have the queen of cups reverse and the page of cups i'm telling you this masculine knows the feminine is pulling back and focusing on something else and it's like the more the feminine does this the more panicked the masculine gets and i do feel some masculines are actually just going to go for it and reach out to the feminine because these two pages are upright um and if let's say it was ego stopping them reaching out before or fear the fear of the feminine moving on and forgetting about them is worse going back to that lewis capaldi song it's worse at this point for the feminine to just move on and forget them than the feminine respond to a message they send and tell them to get lost at least they've responded it's like the thing there's that thing isn't there in psychology with children that children would rather have good attention than negative um, but they'd rather have bad attention or negative attention than none. So it's like they're not getting good attention from you anymore as far as they're concerned because you're holding back, you're self-protecting, you're not putting in all the effort that you have before because they weren't reciprocating and they understand that. So it's like, right, now my choices are I risk negative attention from you and you telling me that you're angry um, or frustrated or disappointed or no attention and you forget about me. Okay, right, obviously I don't want you to forget about me. So fine say whatever you've got to say to me but just say something so i do think um the masculine here looks like they're they're going to to take some action or say something even if it means risking some kind of a cold response or um i don't know maybe there was an argument before that might resume <clears throat> um yeah it's, it's like just but just engage with me remember i exist please um okay so let's have a bit more of a look at this four of wands five of pentacles reversed so one of the things that's making it difficult for them to move out of this foundation could be that it would affect their finances so let's say it's a job they maybe are trying to find another job first if it's family it could be like well I'm going to have to alienate myself from my parents, my siblings, that sort of thing. Um, it, you know, it could be a community thing, a, a religious thing. Um, could, of course, be like a karmic marriage or relationship they're in. But something, it's it's not, um, it's not like an emotional reason or an, an emotional reason, reason only that they can't just step away. They're saying it would affect me somehow practically. And I'm seeing justice on the back reverse, Libra. So they could be saying I wouldn't end up with my fair share of whatever it is, reputation, status, money, security, if I leave now. Um, okay. The magician reverse we've got gemini again i'm just thinking you know that if it's rep i feel strongly this reputation message and for some masculines it could be the reputation amongst friends and family for others it could be kind of a like i mean that's that's big in, on a personal level anyway but like uh, it could have mm, wider reaching consequences like if this is someone who is involved in the medical profession or legal or something like that you know they if someone's going to be bitter and spread some sort of rumor um even just the rumor could be enough to ruin maybe everything they've worked for or any future potential or something like that um yeah okay so magician reverse what else ten of cups reverse eight of pentacles reverse on the back Okay, um, there are some masculines here who are saying, I know I'm the magician, I know I can make this transition, but it's got to be done right. Something about timing, something about being pretty shrewd and sly, um, maybe wearing a mask in this other situation. Like it's got to be done in a sort of tactical way. Okay. So that tells me 
For masculines who are, who are sharing that particular message, they feel there is someone close around them or several people around them who maybe don't have their best interest at heart or would feel rejected and bitter and would try to sabotage the masculine. So not feeling completely safe or seen in their current environment um, and knowing they need to move carefully. Right, so <clears throat> let's get some oracle messages or an oracle for the masculine. I have this feeling with this six of swords I feel like this is the masculine's view of the feminine moving forward and as I said I'm getting this image of the masculine you know, like that arcade game where the, the heads pop up and you have to bash them down like popping up at random points um in this river or this this sea here kind of like um like an alligator or something or a crocodile and I don't know too much about them but I do know that they can be very like you you won't see them till the last minute you know if if they don't want you to see them like you just sort of see them when their eyes are popping up out of the water um which makes me feel like the masculine is really watching the feminine um and they might be closer to the feminine or more aware of the feminine than they know um and the feminine will not know for sure they might intuit for sure yeah um, but they won't have concrete evidence that the masculine is lurking around unless the masculine wants them to know you know um for example, they just reach out and send a message, which I do see happening for some feminines here. Right, okay, Akashic Records, and this is the number five. Interesting. As I said, when I paused to clear away and reset the cards and energy, um, it said 1515, and now we have five here. Um, if you have been led to this card, oh my God, look at this. If you have been led to this card, you are repeating a mistake over and over not just in this connection now in this lifetime it says throughout many lifetimes spirit is asking you to meditate on your akashic records to find the patterns there we go that's it that's what i was seeing from the feminine they understand this and that you know they know it's a time for the masculine to change they also know the masculine is missing this objecting to this yes yes it's true there's a pattern, a mistake they're repeating over and over and over, maybe even across lifetimes. And the feminine is not willing to participate in this anymore. And the masculine, if I'm honest, I'm actually not seeing, I'm seeing stubbornness around this foundation. Yes. But I think a lot of the masculine's energy and focus is on the feminine and like, don't leave me, don't forget me. Whereas actually they could take a lesson from the feminine right now and, and focus a lot more of their energy on themselves and potentially push through, break this cycle, realize this pattern of behavior. <clears throat> but so much of their energy is going on. Oh, let me check what the feminine's doing today. Have they posted anything on social media? Um, will I see them at work? Who were they talking to at work? Um, what gossip can I get from friends and family? How can I um, pop up and let the feminine know that I still exist so they don't forget me? It's like, I would say the attention is 30% on this, this transition they need to make and 70 on I'm watching the feminine, which is not helping them make their own moves, you know? Wow, okay, so let's get a song. So what's the song, please, for the, from the masculine at this time <clears throat> for the feminine? So if you're watching this and you're a masculine, focus more on yourself right now. That's gonna help you and the feminine and the connection. Okay, what's the song, please, from the masculine to the feminine? Okay, we have TLC No Scrubs. <laughs> what? A scrub is a guy um, that thinks he's fly and is also known as a buster, always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. So no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. No, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, I don't want none of your time. Is this how the masculine thinks the feminine sees them or how they feel about themselves? Because they 100% do not feel this way about the feminine because we saw three of wands, the masculine sees the feminine moving forward, making moves, manifesting. Um, wow. So this could be the masculine worrying that this is what the feminine thinks of them. Especially 
Four of Wands is a foundation, Five of Pentacles. They're worried that if they leave something, they'll be left with nothing. Is this a masculine who in the past has gained practical stability and grounding through relationships um, or connections with other people? So if they leave that, they leave the stability they gain behind. And maybe they're worried the feminine looks at them and thinks, oh, well, you know, you're not standing on your own two feet. You're just attaching yourself and aligning yourself with people who already have done well for themselves. Um, and that's not impressive or something like that wow let's get one more because that's um wow okay I feel like that's not so much what the masculine would say to the feminine it's the masculine saying I'm worried this is how I'm perceived <clears throat> okay so message from the masculine to the feminine please Beyonce drunk in love. We woke up in the kitchen saying, how the hell did this mm, beep <laughs> happen? Oh baby, oh baby. Honestly, I make myself cringe. Drunk in love, we be all night. Last thing I remember is our beautiful bodies grinding up in that club, drunk in love. Okay, so makes sense with the Ace of Cups. Um, if you have been physically intimate, they're thinking about this or they're anticipating it if you haven't. So passion, lust, attraction um don't think it's just just passion and lust though because you know we've got this ace of cups we've got the lovers here um yeah okay so there we go wow i actually it's interesting isn't it i think the feminine is more aware right now of what the of what spirit is trying to teach the masculine than the masculine is because the masculine is so focused on the feminine even down to gosh divine feminine what do you think of me how do you see me Hmm. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.